Hi everyone, Sherman here and today I'm going to do a bit of a rant of my previous uh, sharpening video of my Onai Freeze 3 and also uh, this is going to be part 2 of sharpening the Freeze 3 so I'm going to actually summarize the steps I used in the previous video I'm going to link it down below uh, for the previous video link you can check out the YouTube video of my previous video in the description but uh, I had 1,000 over views in just three days and uh, of course when I have that I had people commenting that I did not know how to sharpen simply because this was wet at the time and could not cut so let's have a look at how well it cuts right now as you can see it is cutting pretty well like I said it can cut through uh, magazine paper you can cut through receipts you can see here and of course when it's wet it doesn't cut as well so right now you can see that it actually cuts through tissue paper as well right uh, there we go see and of course there is no right or wrong way to sharpen a knife for a specific purpose i know you guys are some of you guys are not going to agree with me but for my purpose and what i sharpen it for uh, it's perfect because it does what it's supposed to do which is basically to shave right i've been shaving with this so you can see here okay I don't want it to shave like everything at one go you can actually see the hair collected here right I don't want it to be too sharp because I don't want to cut myself while shaving so for that matter I don't need it to be super sharp and also if you check out the videos on the cut test for the freeze tree you will know that the factory age for this freeze tree although it looks really nice from old knife right here it is actually not very sharp and does not retain its edge really well so you can check out the youtube videos i actually checked that out before i got it but for my purpose like i said it does what it's supposed to do look at this this is uh you know uh envelope with bubble wrap inside and usually what i do is i open packages so it cuts through I can just really fine see and because of that uh, it really does what it's meant to do and if you guys want to see example of other sharpening I did I can show you my Tremontina this is uh, an actual machete that I use in the field okay uh, in my garden so uh, I almost need it to be sharp and because it's uh, cutting some weeds right and some weeds are super like wines are super annoying so it needs to be super sharp and this is uh, how sharp I got it to be right so it cuts right through uh, receipt paper so usually you don't need a 1070 steel to be this sharp as you can see here 1070 steel it is super sharp and 170, 1070 steel especially on this Tramontina is uh, I mean it's just uh, you know it's a joy to sharpen right because it's just so easy to sharpen and even when I cut like the trees it still maintain its edge right when I cut the trees I can use it to basically cut uh, wines after that and it can still cut through paper right it just slices through paper like nobody's business right let me take uh, the for example here that magazine that uh, the freeze tree had trouble cutting through the last time uh, when you saw it in the uh, previous video you had trouble cutting through it this Tramontina does an amazing job and I sharpened it so many times already just to maintain this super sharp edge but um, you know I go out and I use it a lot I cut trees with it, I cut wines with it, I cut grass with it and you know it still maintains its sharpness right 
Uh, okay. So besides that, I've also sharpened this out the front blade, which is actually a glorified uh, letter opener because it's really thin. Okay. Unlike the 1070 steel, which is a high carbon steel, this one is probably made of some crappy steel, like a I don't know, maybe some hcr 13 MOB, but still it cuts, right? I managed to sharpen it to the point where it actually cuts paper. So for me, uh, especially for this, let's say I want to open a package, it's really easy, right? So obviously, you know, certain paper and certain steels don't do as well together. But like I said, when you sharpen something, it's actually for a specific purpose of uh, actually what you want to cut, right? So uh, for me, the freeze tree, okay, what I want to cut, like I said, is to cut my hair. And this is able to also cut paper, maybe not as smooth as butter, but there we go. We can actually cut it pretty well uh, if it doesn't get wet. So once it gets wet, it sort of like uh, doesn't cut as well anymore. So I have here like the steps that I'm going to show you guys again how to do it. Uh, maybe prior to that, let me do a cut test on this water bottle because you know people like to do a water bottle cut test most of the time. So I brought a uh, bucket here just to do this. So here, see if it cuts through a water bottle. Okay, there we go. Can you see that? Uh, I don't dare to like uh, get too much water, but uh, basically, uh, wait, let me see because the, the light is not showing it, but you can see the, uh, the water coming out here. Okay, so that's how you, you actually use some strength when you want to cut through this. So you can do that by uh, either stabbing it, right? or you can actually slice it, right? And when you slice it, you can actually cut it like how a cleaver should be cut. I'm gonna show you guys, like there we go. I'm just being really careful not to uh, wet anything, but this is how sharp, uh, the, how sharp this blade can be, right? So I'm gonna just, go one round so you guys can actually see that this is actually a sharp blade right so just want to make sure that i don't get all wet here there we go see it cuts really nicely so it does really well for my purpose uh it cuts through rope as well so you can see here you can cut through this so let's say you want to cut through stuff like this it's all possible with this sharpened knife and so I hope that settles uh, whether I can actually sharpen the blade or not right uh, next is how I'm gonna use this I'm going I'm gonna tell you guys and summarize how I sharpen this knife with my diamond rod since it did so well in my last video okay so now it's wet so it's not going to sharpen that well but uh, I'm gonna show you guys this is a really old uh, sharpening stone and it's uh, I think it's like a 300 or 300 grit so you only use this when your steel here is not sharp anymore and it has a lot of uh, uh, what do you call that road over edges or the edges has been chipped so how, how do you find that out basically you want to feel the edge okay don't press it too hard but basically sort of like uh, just move your finger through it and then you can feel whether the edge is uh, a bit how you say, rough and uh, a bit uh, uh, bitey, right? It feels like it's biting you. Then you know uh, it has that uh, sort of like ability to bite right now. So uh, for this blade, it's not as, as, uh, as rough, I would say. So it doesn't, it's not as sharp. Right? Like I said, this doesn't retain its, 
sharpness level for very long because it's a VG10 I think I, I don't even think it's VG10 I'm not sure what what Damascus steel uh, what steel they use for this Damascus blade so Damascus is actually a combination of steel that they they like compress together to form to forge together to form this blade right so they did actually say what steel they use uh, I read somewhere that is VG10 but it uh, might not be VG10 as well right but you know, like I said, for my purpose, and I know what it was going to be, I saw the cut test video already, so I know it's not that sharp, so it's good for my purpose, which is to shave, right? Uh, the ability to just, just do this without worrying so much about cutting myself, I think that's super important because it serves its purpose, right? So here, I'm going to teach you a bit about the theory, so the edge, right? You can see here the edge. You can see the edge here okay let's see if you guys can see this so the edge here you can see that it's like an apex right so what i do right is to actually make the edge here flat so that it's sharp right so the more steep the edge is the sharper it is but uh, as less steep it is the tougher the blade will be right because it doesn't break easily and uh, you know it's not as sharp but still it's tougher right and that's actually what i want to achieve when i'm sharpening right you guys can actually do a different kind of uh, blade angle to make the apex more sharp right and what i mean by blade angle is say you take this this is a rod uh, uh, a diamond rod from victorinox right uh, diamond far actually i have the rod here from uh, china but uh, let's say you take either one of this you get the angle to be a bit more acute right to get an acute angle you sort of put this here you, can, you guys can see this and then you use this part as a sort of like a guide right so you can if you want a more acute angle you can just go further down and just not even use this part as a guide right but for me and uh, for my all intents and purposes i would use this as a guide or even make it less sharp which i did in the previous video i actually made it less sharp and you guys are i mean not you guys but some people are commenting that i don't know how to sharpen but the fact of the matter is the sharpness or the acute level of the blade the, the angle of the blade really depends on how, what you want to use the blade for right so um but when it comes to sharpening it's all roughly the same steps you first you just need to get a, a rougher sort of material say this a 400 grit stone and then you just get you sharpen it on the stone right you can hear that sound right what it's doing is actually grating away at the steel right so i don't really want to do that because i don't want to uh, damage my really nice shiny mirror polish here and the damascus steel so uh, i wouldn't do that much but if you guys want to like uh, i mean if you guys really want a really sharp edge use this first to get a really like uh you know to, to 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 sort of like scrape away the steel and then it will form a burr okay what a burr is is like a sandbar on the other side of the blade so i'm going, I'm going to show you guys again right so here okay let's get the angle right yeah i'm just going to follow the uh, angle by victorinox which is using this uh, handle here you can see here and just put it as long as it touches the blade i will follow that angle right and then i'll sharpen the blade okay so obviously right now i'm not showing you guys like all the like how many times i do this right i have to do this many times but of course to shorten the video length i'm just going to do it a few times and then after i've sharpened this side you can actually feel the burr on the other side okay right now i can't actually feel the burr yet because you need to have a bit more you need to be a bit more vigorous right in creating that burr of course if your knife is already sharp you might not want to create the burr and you are just you know refining the edge but let's say you want to create a burr right and the fact of the matter is when you create a burr you're actually shaving off metal 
from one side of the knife to the other so how do you know that you are shaving off metal you can actually look at it okay you can see that you can see sort of like a white line here okay that white line when the light shines on it uh, sometimes you can actually get some patches there I don't know if you can see some patches there but I already sharpened this so there are not many patches but you can see a bit of little like specks of dust on it so basically the metal here uh, needs to be far away to it becomes sort of like consistent okay so once that line is consistent okay that white line that shiny line is consistent means a burr has built up on the other side oh actually i can feel a bit of a burr now uh over here but over this side not really so you also use your finger to feel it and then when you feel it you sort of like uh far off those areas where the burr wasn't formed on the other side of the blade right so now okay still not there and uh, the trouble with this kind of videos is that uh, I don't edit them because I like to post videos as often as possible so sometimes uh, you don't see the entire process so I'm just gonna explain to you guys when you do this you will eventually feel the burr on the other side okay I can feel a bit of it now and then when the burr comes to this side right what you want to do is you put uh, you also far this side off at the same angle if possible you don't even actually have to follow the same angle but obviously if you want to follow that same angle the apex will be more symmetrical and the uh, edge will be better so when you do that you sort of use a lighter strength just to fire it off so that the burr goes to the back to the other side right yeah so i only had a slight burr so i can actually feel that it's no more there so on the other side, it, I don't even feel anything because I guess it managed to far off the burr. So basically we have a really nice refined edge now, right? I can actually use your finger to sort of feel it. Make sure you don't run your finger on the blade itself, obviously. So uh, make sure that you feel it, you're actually feeling the sides of the blade, right? Like this, feeling the sides of the blade. You guys can see this, you feel the sides of the blade to see if there's any uh, deformat deform uh, you know there's any deformation and then you actually use your finger to slide across the blade like this right you can actually feel how sharp the edge is uh, right now I don't think it's that sharp but uh, for this purpose I am just going to show you guys next how to use the Shakten Kuromoku stone after using your diamond rod Oh yeah, I forgot to actually use the diamond rod. I was using the diamond fart. So the diamond rod more or less works the same way as uh, my diamond fart. So I'm not going to show you guys so much about how it actually works. But you can actually have, have this rod in the same way. Just, you know, scraping the sides at an angle, right? And then this diamond rod is actually a higher, uh, lower grade. So what I'm supposed to do is actually use this first before using the uh, higher grid right which is will make the metal more refined right as I scrape the, as I scrape the edges off so after I get that right I will use this which is a 2000 grit which is really high you can see I already wet this Kuromoku Shakten Kuromoku 2000 green wet stone and then what I will do, right, like I showed in the previous video, right, is put it at an angle, right, the same angle, right, you more or less can tell the angle if you can't use this to help you, okay, use the uh, little, use this little part here to help you, okay, get the angle and then use your thumb to get the angle, to maintain that angle, okay, to maintain that angle and then use your body up and down, your entire body to sort of like, uh, scrape the metal you can actually hear the roughness of it when you do it and then after a while the roughness goes away especially if your your stone is flat okay your stone needs to be flat and if you feel like certain parts of the stone is not flat you need to use like a bigger uh, what i do is use probably my machete on it to flatten the stone right and then once it's flat okay uh, you can just use this 
on the stone going up and down okay so that's how you do it obviously i'm not doing it the amount of times that i'm supposed to do it and actually the sharpness here might not be as sharp and it's wet already so the last time what i did was show you guys the sharpness after i did this which obviously sometimes is not as sharp because i haven't refined uh how i did it but let's just see how uh it performs now ah there we go it's actually super sharp see it's straight line right so uh, I guess I didn't wet it as much this time, so I managed to get a really nice sharpness to it, right? So the blade geometry of this knife is really wide at the angle, I mean like the, the width of this blade is really wide here. So it doesn't cut as well as say uh, my other knives, right? Even the uh, machete I have, which is really flat compared to this blade which has a thick spine to it but i really like it like i said because it does its job right and it's most important that it does its job well uh, and what job does it do like i keep mentioning to you guys it's for shaving my hair and it does its job really well so sometimes you know it, i don't use like one one uh how should i say one pass to to like get rid of my this little hair what i do is i do a few passes right to get rid of the hair because i don't want it too sharp so some people say that razors should actually be super razor sharp right but yeah i don't want to cut myself right so i will be so afraid to do this if the knife is super duper sharp if I want it sharper, I'll just turn the angle down a bit like this, right? Turn the angle down a bit. And then I can shave more. Okay? Don't know if you guys can see this, but yeah. So again, like I told you guys, this is not super sharp, so you can do this. And you can see the uh, hair collecting over there, and then what you do is just take a piece of tissue paper wipe it off and i forgot to tell you guys about uh stroping which i already did in the previous video you need a stroping compound on a leather belt just rub the stroping compound on the, the leather and you do it uh just like how you would how you would on a uh, on the sharpening stone but uh, the difference is you don't want to cut against the blade so you don't go up and down you only go away from the cutting edge right so um, you guys can see this so just do this to stroke away from the cutting edge right i already showed all this in my previous video but i'm doing this part two now to summarize and to explain to you guys like uh, especially those people who commented that i do not know how to sharpen so you can see here it even cuts through tissue paper you can actually feel the sharpness of it as it cuts through the tissue paper okay but more or less it's you know it tends to tear right it's not as sharp but like i said for all intents and purposes especially if you can cut through uh, paper with a fine line and also i can cut through let's say a cord or whatever sometimes i need to cut through cords right easily cut through uh cut through packaging like i said packaging is one of the most important things when i buy stuff online and a lot of you guys buy stuff online this thing cuts through packaging easily so yeah i guess um i should end it here before the 25 minute mark if you guys have questions please comment down below uh, if you guys want to just leave a negative comment please just go watch another video nobody's forcing you to watch this video um, and for those of you guys who have been supporting me thank you so much uh, please do like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video oh yeah click the notifications there as well take care now bye guys